Hi, I'm Alan Sokal, and I am reviewing a camera bag. And when I say bag, I mean a bag. Uh, I've uh, reviewed at least one camera bag from Amazon in the last few months. And it's a nice bag. I put my uh, old DSLR in it with a few lenses. But it's, uh, it's sort of a fabric bag. Um, somewhat like it wants to be leather but it's not and uh, it's brown in color and it's not a bad looking bag I think the key word was vintage uh, so it had that uh, old vintage look you know like old luggage but uh, in fact it was just a camera bag and uh, over the years I have used camera bags I am of the traditional camera bag school in that uh, all of my camera carrying devices were in fact um, leather actually very very stiff leather bags um, what's coming out in today's market I've noticed are very inexpensive fabric bags um, not many of them have any uh, wall structure uh, such that uh, you feel comfortable that it's going to protect a side impact um, the only way you get that nowadays is if uh, there's a lot of cushioning uh, to take that blow or you're using as I also used um, metal uh, high durability metal cases with foam inserts where you either pluck the foam or cut the foam out to fit all of your lenses well the bottom line is this is the and <laughs> here goes my language background so I'll just use common vowel sounds and consonant sounds. Quatkun, uh, quatkun. I speak a little Thai, and it I almost pompu uh, Thai, ne? So I so quatkun. It's almost like kapkun kap. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, in Thai, so it's quatkun, and um, maybe in Mandarin dialect that means something. I don't know. But uh, that's the brand name, and uh, this is a, a very soft camera bag. In fact, you're going to go, geez, Al, this bag has no structure. It's an invertebrate, which it is. It, there is nothing here. <laughs> it's all stitched, but it's a nice stitching. Now, when I received it, I just got this elongated gray box thing in a vacuum pack inside of, you know, a, a corrugated box. But the point being, uh, this was what I saw when I received the product. They had taken the dividers that are in here and they had shoved them in there. Then they had taken this fabric bag and folded it up as much as they could and shoved it in there. Well, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get this out, which is a large, almost like a duffel bag, you know? And um, very nice uh, stitched construction, I might add, and a very thick material. This is like a duffel bag, like my old military duffel bag. Um, they have a really nice board. Uh, it's sort of a chipboard um, nameplate. Uh, with their brand name and then on the back side uh, some information um, product details but I don't speak uh, I don't read uh, Chinese although the characters doesn't matter the dialect but I still can't read it however I do have the uh, vendors uh, page to go by so I get this invertebrate bag and what I realized and let me just take this these two main straps out oh boy this is going to be a little task here oh it's because I've got the uh, this piece here holding it up okay so what you're supposed to do and what I did you unzip the top this is the top here okay so I'm going to unzip it and you open it up and you can see the insides of that bag it's a, it's a pretty good size bag when I punch it out a bit. Um, let me just bring this in a skosh. You can see that um, this is like a big open duffel bag, but it has no structure to it. Uh, what 
will give this structure is this insert. Uh, and uh, let me just uh, bring the, uh, the camera out again. Uh, the insert is uh, going to show uh, or provide structure for this thing and I'm going to drop it in right now. And you just sort of work it inside here because the bag is flexing and this insert, of course, it'll reduce. You can squeeze it to fit. Once you get this in, you now have what would be called somewhat a traditional, a traditional camera bag. So we have the uh, cover flap here. And if I turn it around, you could probably, uh, you would call this the front of the bag. And uh, you have a very traditional outside storage pocket. You open that up and uh, you've got some space to drop a whole bunch of stuff in here. Cables, things that wouldn't be uh, uh, susceptible to damage, you know, memory cards, whatever you wanted to put in there. So you've got that on the outside. And then on this side, and I'm sort of exploring this with you. It's a little hard because, again, it's, <laughs> it's flexible. Uh, you've got this uh, pocket here. So uh, this will take, oh, you see I can get my hand in here. And, you know, the other thing I wanted to share, uh, unlike a lot of the photography and graphics that they play with online to make a product look larger, this really is a decent size bag. That was the thing I wanted to get across in my review. Uh, all the bags that, I have, uh, the, that I've looked at, and the one that I did get, or maybe the two, I think there were two, that I'd received, they looked larger in the pictures than they were in person. This one is pretty big in person. So I just want you to know up front, uh, I'm getting about 14 inches across. Um, I could say 15, but let's say 15 inches, okay? 14, 15 inches uh, length. And front to back, I think they said 5 inches. I'm going to say you could push this out to 6, but it's the insert. Uh, well, no, you know what? 6 inches. 6 inches this way, uh, 15, 14, 15 inches this way, so you're over a foot. And then the height, well, the height, let me just position that right there. And I don't want to, okay. Let me go in and let's see just where we are, where my hand is. <laughs> that was a magic trick, okay. Uh, the height on this puppy is, what is it? It looks like we're right about there. So what is that, 10? 10 inches high, um, maybe even 11. I guess what I'm telling you is you actually have a pretty good size uh, camera bag here. Remember that there's an insert. Let me turn this up like this and back out a bit so you can see this. Um, so when you're looking down into the bag, you've got, uh, you've got that insert with two movable dividers, okay? And, um, and that uh, space that I'm uh, looking at here, so this is actually, it's about eight inches vertical. And uh, all the way across, it's about 11 inches, 11 inches. So 11 by six by eight deep about a foot by a, a half of a foot by eight inches deep. So I guess what I'm telling you is for the price point on this item, which was $32, $32 when you rounded it up, I actually thought, you know what, this, I, I'm going to use this bag. This is a good size camera bag and uh, I've got my older uh, DSLR bodies plus my lenses, they were, well, they still are in a uh, older 
uh, Halliburton aluminum case, an extremely good camera case. But there are some issues even with that. And as far as security, I'm usually uh, right with my camera equipment if I'm out in the field. Um, it doesn't get very far from me. So um, a camera bag is fine. But uh, getting back to this particular camera bag, I guess what I'm going to tell you is if you are looking for a traditional camera bag, this is the best one I've seen so far. And now let me show you the nifty feature that they talk about in the ad. These two, these two assemblies here are actually for your tripod. You can carry a tripod. I could take it apart right now, but you know, if I do, then I got to roll it all back together again. Uh, this will, um, well, it, it, it opens up. <laughs> Don't expect me to do this on the fly because I, I, I looked at the picture and it made it look like the uh, tripod was on the side. I think it's probably, uh, no, maybe it is on the bottom right here. But th they've got these two extra uh, strap assemblies and uh, obviously they're so easy to do I'm avoiding doing it because I don't want to embarrass myself so I probably won't do it right. But the point is the picture looked real good. I could see that the tripod was being carried by this uh, case on the outside plus it had all sorts of camera gear inside. I'm telling you right now I'm touching it, I'm feeling it. Uh, I'm okay with 32 bucks. I, I think I'd recommend this to a friend if somebody said, have you seen a decent camera bag? Because remember, older people might say camera bag, not a case. Uh, this is for real. This, this isn't bad. Not bad at all. Uh, and I did look on Amazon. So what I want to share with you, and let me flip my little chart around. The other option that you've got, and, and these options ran from $37 to the $50 range, uh, you've got backpacks. So the difference between a backpack for your camera gear and a bag, for me, uh, I'm used to looking down into my camera bags and letting gravity just drop, every, I drop everything into the bag. Uh, it's not going to go anywhere because there's walls all the way around. Uh, you've got sections you can create in here. Um, and, you know, I like toting a bag. I like holding it. The backpack concept is not a bad one. Uh, I don't go camping much anymore. Uh, I used to go, when I was younger, I usually went once every 20, 30 years. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't go that I wasn't a big camper, okay? Uh, if it was an RV, that was toughing it. And, and this from a guy that was in the military. Uh, but, you know, backpacking, no. I don't want to carry anything on my back. So uh, I like bags. But if you are a backpacker, uh, then you might relate to this. The uh, benefits of a backpack, I'm just saying, uh, seem to be that uh, you can open it up or drop it down and stare at sections that are on a vertical wall. Or you just lay it on the ground and, you know, you drop it in. It's only going to be a few inches deep. Uh, so it's a different approach to storing. Uh, these, most of these backpacks were more costly than this camera bag. And um, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's waterproof, uh, or I should say water resistant. It does have a one-year guarantee per the vendor. They included a very nice letter uh, saying that they were committed to quality and um, they uh, have other items that are photography related. So presuming they do, it uh, made me feel pretty good. But uh, what impressed me the most was the uh, very real uh, heavy-duty fabric. Yeah, these are leather, and, uh, and these are actual leather um, add-ons for the stitching. And, and it's a quality stitched product. So uh, there, by the way, there's also a zip bag on the inside. 
in the back here. Um, let me just turn this out a bit. You can see how flexible the bag is, and I suppose that's a good thing. So you've got inside storage as well as on the other side, on the outside, outside storage. That's it. I, you know, I think I've traveled uh, the world with this thing, and I never left this review desk. I'm giving it five stars. I, honestly, what impressed me is $32 for something like this, which is really big, versus uh, I think the other bag was valued around 20 and it was much smaller, much smaller. So um, I would call this like a, a camera duffel bag is what I would call it. Um, and uh, I'm giving it five stars.